Dear students, today we will learn a very important topic from your 9th class geography syllabus that is atmospheric pressure and winds. Okay, so stay with me to know information about this chapter. Here, see today what we will discuss. Today's topic of discussions basically, I have divided in four points. First is introduction and definition of air pressure, concept of air pressure through examples, and then pressure gradient measurement of pressure okay so first we will start with this first point so what is air pressure before going to the point i just want to tell you you know that already some other uh, chapters you have read about this atmosphere and there you have read that a thin layer of air which surrounds the earth that is known as atmosphere and this atmosphere basically uh, which consists of air it is tasteless odorless as well as colorless so we can't that see it but we can feel it when there will be horizontal movement of the air that is called wind and when there will be wind then the movements of that we can see the leaves are there moving or somehow in, we can see and we can feel that yes the presence of the air so students here that like all the objects like all the objects that air also having weight we know that all the objects is having basically weight same way the air is having weight and when this weight of the air it exerts over the surface of the art that is called air pressure so what i have said when the weight of the air it exerted over that uh, a surface of the art that is called air pressure so students uh, you sometimes can uh, think about that um, uh, if the air pressure is there so why we um, we can't feel that for that i'm just going to the next point and the through the examples i'm giving also explaining that yes we uh, all the living being basically having on the or the human being basically we are having the blood pressure inside our body that's why we can't feel that pressure of the air we can't feel the pressure of the air and here uh, but when we will move against the direction of the wind blowing we can feel the pressure if if you are driving the car against that the direction of the wind you can feel the air pressure one more example i am telling uh, you know that uh, air is compressible we can compress the air in any uh, in any of that also uh, place so if you are uh, compressing and keeping the air, uh, amount of or uh, the volume of uh, air in a large that um, that jar you can see yes the pressure of the air it will um, it will be there at the walls of that jar but you are uh, if compressing more and more volume of air in that same jar the jar can dash or it can break it and why it's happening because the air is having pressure and it's that pressurizing over that the wall of the jar so it can dash so here one more thing we uh, we can say that air basically uh, the pressure the according the air pressure how it's important to us we all know that air always blow to high pressure zone to that low pressure area means high pressure means cold area comparatively that where less temperature will be there to that where that more temperature there to that direction air always blue okay but how it's happening this actually air that it movements it depends on that temperature of the air atmosphere that heating how that distribution of heats if not equal everywhere it differs place to pair place somewhere very high temperature somewhere very less temperature and according to that pressure is forming when any of the area is having less temperature we can see that there is high pressure forming the cold air is dry and heavy so it always descends so it is having more pressure but that the warm air which area is uh, having that more temperature having um, that more warm air and it always rise up and then it will have the low pressure and then the movements of the air will be towards high pressure from, sorry from high pressure to that low pressure area okay and now this pressure is very important for this weather 
and everything every atmospheric that or the weather phenomena depends upon this weather um, this also atmospheric pressure okay so here students i've said that how this when air pressure important and then uh, the examples i also have given why we don't feel that air pressure i also have said but here i want to uh, also explain that i um, said that we are having blood pressure that's why we can't feel the uh, air pressure but when we will move that higher altitude higher areas that hilly areas you can feel that the, um, the the problems due to that pressure loss because when you will uh, go to the higher altitude the molecule it will that basically expand the pressure will be less and when you will move lower altitude the the pressure will be high because the density of the air will be higher so in that case when we will move that higher areas we can feel that we can feel some sickness we can feel some sickness and uh, that is physical problem can be nose bleeding can be we can say that ear bleeding sometime uh, vomiting can be also there because our body that blood pressure will be more than the atmosphere outside atmospheric pressure at the hilly areas you have seen the mountaineers basically they used to carry oxygen cylinder oxygen bottle oxygen mask because the air pressure is very less in that high altitude so here students here we can write this one this also uh, air pressure is equal to that density multiply temperature and multiply constant here we can tell that the air pressure basically air the atmospheric molecules these are basically constant state of collision and that again that also uh, we can say expansion so here that as atmospheric molecules that having this states that of collisions and expansion so here this constant or the pressures depends upon these two main variable that is density and temperature this, these are the basic and basic two are important two variables if the density of the air will change obviously the pressure will change if the temperature will change obviously the pressure will change so these are the main variable we can write the pressure is equal to this also density multiply temperature multiply constant okay so here students i have covered these also two point i hope you have understand here now i will discuss this pressure gradient students now we have covered these two point now we have to know pressure gradient so to know pressure gradient that first we have to know also word ha, here i have also drawn some black that uh, circular or semicircular this kind of um, that also shape and diagram you can understand what are these when i will explain so here i have marked isobar so what is isobar listen carefully isobar are the imaginary line basically isobars are the imaginary lines which joins the places having same air pressure above sea level okay so here students you can see that here the value of or the pressure i have written here 1000 millibar 900 millibar 800 millibar 700 millibar and 600 millibar it means the common thing we are getting to see the unit here used to measure the air pressure that is millibar so what is where the air pressure will be highest and where it will be less that we have to know that already in the previous chapters we have read when we will go to the higher altitude the pressure it will air pressure will less or decrease okay and when we will go down or lower altitude pressure will increase okay we know that pressure will decrease at the higher altitude at the lower altitude pressure will increase in that case we also can see above sea level basically that uh, over the ground or the over the surface of the earth the highest air pressure should be there because there will be um, that uh, uh, 
over that uh, earth surface other the atmospheric layer are pressurizing over this earth surface so the pressure or the weight of the air or the molecule density it will be higher at the earth surface so here we can see over that uh, sea level the air pressure is highest how much it is that is 1013 millibar 1013 sometimes it can be there 1013.25 millibar also okay and this 1013.25 millibar it is is same or equal to 76 centimeter in that barometer actually that i for that point i will tell in that fourth point in barometric that mercury barometer or 760 millimeter or 2.92 inch so these four that we can see it's converted to different scale or sorry different unit but these we can write yes the sea level pressure at sea level sea level this the air pressure will be this First of thing, this is 13,013.25 millibar or 76 centimeter or 760 millimeter or 229.92 inch. These all are same but converted in different units. Okay, of the highest air pressure over sea level. And whenever we will move upside or the higher altitude, obviously the air pressure it will decrease at a rate of one centimeter part 110 that meter of height in the one centimeter in that barometer that the um, uh, the air pressure it will decrease per 110 meter of height okay this way we can see the air pressure decreasing or we can say um, we can also write 34 millibar it will decrease per 300 meter of height air pressure it will decrease that 34 millibar per 300 meter of height we can write meter height the pressure will decrease the pressure will decrease so here students we have understood where that the highest air pressure we can see and at which rate it is decreasing but here uh, the main point of discussion it was the pressure gradient now here understand isobar i already have described that the lines which joins the places having same air pressure above the sea level now i have also marked some also that um, value here 1900 800 700 and 600 but some dissimilarities you can see at the upper part this isobar close to each other but the lower part the isobars are far from each other okay so in that case we can see that within this very small area of uh, the pressure is changing very fast or rapidly within this area the um, uh, value or that pressure is changing very that rapidly in that case we can say that the pressure gradient is high pressure gradient is high pressure gradient or high or we can write steep and in this case the pressure gradient is we can see that gentle or less now students the term is coming pressure gradient so what is pressure gradient so the changes of air pressure between two that or among the places here or on a same that unit of distance we can see so in that case we also can write the difference of air pressure among the areas or between two places it is known as pressure gradient in that case here when we can we can write where the isobars will be close to each other the pressure gradient will be steep and where the isobars will be far apart far apart or far from each other they in that case the pressure gradient it will be gentle 
hope you have understood this point students where there is gentle pressure gradient the wind will blow very slowly and where there is steep pressure gradient the wind will blow very fastly from the high pressure to the low pressure zone point now here i also have covered this one number 4 measurement of pressure measurement of pressure we can do by using of the instrument barometer okay but in the barometer the we can uh, that see that in that we use basically mercury in a glass tube and it is not portable we can't carry anywhere because it is having the liquid and it is large tube we use and they are the scale given in centimeter to measure that that mercury level to measure that atmospheric pressure that's why nowadays 14th barometer and android barometer people are using and in that android barometer you can see it's just a metal box in that metal box uh, some scale given even the metal whatever using that is very uh, in that Tem with the temperature changing of temperature, it expand and it contract. So whenever the temperature and the pressure changing, that then and there we can see in the in the scale, and it is portable. So here, students, I just want to tell you that whatever barometer we are using, but the best one is that Android barometer because we it is portable. So here, students. I have covered this all points hope you have understood we will meet in the next video with some more information about this chapter thank you